Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. Today is a Sunday. I need to get some work done in terms of football. I may not be able to get to the gym because the gym actually closes at 5 p.m. I have three and a half hour sessions today. I've been editing videos while analyzing my game, which is important to me. I always want to be learning from my mistakes, seeing what I can do better. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure it closes at 5, maybe 5.30. If I can't get a session in at the gym, I'll be doing some sort of session at home to at least do something. I have a session now with the three guys you have seen before. I won't hold you too long, so let's get into that. Oh, look at the fresh kicks. They're the ones I want, hey? Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're decent. Think of them. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, I really like the way they wrap around my feet and like just the colorway. It just really gets me like, <laughs> It's like skirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like pull up. From the side, from the side. Carnage. Basically, I'm just gonna take my touch, whip one in the co top corner. Pretty simple stuff. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah. Right in the corner. He's not gonna know what hit him, don't worry, dude. Oh, Jack, I love it! So Sam, you just brought me over here, you want to tell, <laughs> tell some truth to the camera, don't you? Yeah, the truth is, that shooting session, biggest fluke of my life, like, I just get absolutely pummeled every time, and like... So, like, you think Jack's better than you? <laughs> I guess you could say yeah, that. Yeah. And like, yeah, in the football tennis, like, I just got demolished, so... To be real, like, that was just... Biggest fluke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anything to say on that, Jack? Yeah, and basically I have a couple of excuses on... I, was a bit, I had a game yesterday, uh, my boots like a bit, like, ooh. Wait, pull that up. Ooh. What? <laughs> and like, I was, I'm just saying, if he didn't beat me, like, just go home, buddy. Okay, okay I have a broken collarbone. <laughs> oh, here we go, let's just bring out as many excuses as possible. I've been out for three weeks. <laughs> Anything uh, else you want to say? Um, it's just, Jack's just really off-putting with his, his parts are really sloppy, so it's really hard. But, yeah, just, just all I gotta say. Like, so poorly, kind of, like, literally, like, <laughs> it's all about food five plus 34. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> two, one minus two. I don't know how he got a negative number, Wait, and also, um, oh. uh, yeah, it's all about improvement. Like, I started off bad with a new boost, but as I started to realize, I started getting better and better, and that's just all that matters. Yeah, improvement, exactly. improvement's better than. Not improving. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, but yeah, you, you do admit that they were flakes, right? I guess you could say they were flakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that session. Bit of fun at the end there. We do this thing where with football tennis, whoever gets the most points, that then converts into the amount of crossbar shots you get. And then we decided whoever gets the crossbar has to admit something to the camera. So that's the reason they were saying that. It just adds a bit of pressure to the whole thing. That's what I love rather than just going, oh yeah, let's play first to 10 in football tennis. Nothing's going to happen if you lose. It's just that extra bit of competitiveness. So now that I've got that session out of the way, I was supposed to have another one, but that got cancelled. The kid's away at the moment. So now I'm heading off to the gym to go and get a workout in. I'll have enough time to do that. Not sure how much I'm going to be doing because my legs are still hurting from the game on Friday. But like my sprint coach said, you can't expect to go into any session feeling 100%. That would just be crazy. So heading off, I'll catch you guys with what I show you. I'll obviously be doing a bit more or maybe not. I don't know because my camera just went on extremely low battery. We'll see what I can get for you guys. So here's the gym work. I'm so, so sorry that I didn't charge my camera battery. I want to get 
more footage for you guys, but it just wasn't possible. My camera died and I wouldn't be able to get too much. So this is just lunges, eyes closed, getting every angle nearly. And yeah, that's all I got for you. <laughs> I'm back from the gym. That's all I could get for you guys, just those lunges. I did push-ups, the Bose ball exercise, a couple of others as well. I should be meeting with my sprint coach sometime next week to step up the program, I hope. If not, then it will just be going over the program that I have now and making a few changes here and there, making sure that I'm doing the exercises correctly. So I look forward to that because I feel like it's getting a little bit easier. I want to step it up. I want to do these compound exercises. But yeah, I'm following what he's saying. I think it's really important to have someone there and guide you. Good to get the gym session done. Now on top of that, those boots that Sam had this morning, I'm having a look at them now. Obviously, when you get boots, you never go for the cheap pair. Like, I just... Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. I think I did it once in my career, never again. Now, looking here, they're 290 Australian dollars, or I can get the sock ones for $340, which is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. But hey, I need a new pair of boots. The reason for that is I have the Neymar Jordans. They're beginning to break and becoming like Jack's boots. And then the only other boot that I have is my Neymar's, the black and white ones with the design, the Brazilian boots. But on top of that, I have the soft ground boots, they're metal studs. And I think you might be able to get like soft studs to replace them with, but on top top of that as well i gotta say that these nike hypervenom phantom 3 elite fg men's football boots white edition or world cup edition are pretty sick and you guys saw last week or the week before i said to myself i want to wear the neymar jordans because the neymars haven't been doing it for me and as soon as i put those neymar jordans on i scored a hat trick put them on next week hat trick and i feel like football is a massive mindset sport you need to be in the right frame of mind and maybe it was the boots maybe it wasn't it could be a superstition thing like i said john terry changes his boots every half of football and i like my boots like bright so i think i'm gonna pick up those they're fresh as but 209 dollars it's a lot of money it's part of football though i said actually i was going to pick them up yesterday or today a fair few days ago i don't know maybe we'll pick them up on a thursday or a friday something i'm not sure it's just i don't really want to spend 290 bucks but i really want these boots expect them to come to the vlog soon they're fire. Your boy is cooking dinner and we got Spence. Mate, I'm not cooking dinner for you. Just me. Your dinner's somewhere over there. But what we're cooking up is lamb. Now, I don't have the exact lamb that I used to have in the UK that I would make. Man, that was good. And it was like pre-season, so I've tried to make my own sort of version. So we got a big bit of lamb there. I've put some rosemary, mixed herbs, salt, butter, garlic, and that's about it. You can see I made a bit of a mess over here. Then we're also going to have some sweet potato, broccolini, and carrot as per usual. Got some Drake playing over there. You know how it goes. So yeah, cooking with Tweety is back. Hopefully this one doesn't end in a disaster. It's a lot of meat there, so I can see how it's going to go wrong. But look, let's stay hopeful. Let's stay hopeful. So I've decided that I'm doing my vegetables inside the wok here, which is stir frying them. Now that's right here, and I'm about to ruin one of my tips which is gonna help you guys out a lot and it's gonna ruin it for me. Basically, if you ever don't want to do anything in the kitchen and you can't be bothered, just say you don't know how to. And what's that gonna do, Dad? <laughs> He's gonna do it. So, I'm I say- I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, close. But basically, Dad's just gonna show me how to cook carrots. Can you do them all, please? Papa Tweety, Master Chef. Here we go. No, I'm not doing them all. Mm. So it's all in the finger, right? Okay, okay fingers in here. You hold it right there and you rest the knife on it. Bang. Here we go, got the lamb, a little bit pink. What are we thinking? How does it look? Looks yeah. great. Come on, let's eat. Whoa. It's fantastic. Dig in, tell me what it's like. I need a quick taste review. You need an instant mm. response. Yeah, instant response. What are we saying? No, oh, yeah, that's good. Is it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. And after that sensational cooking by myself, I'm going to end the vlog there. Been a good day. Ideally, I should have got a session in somewhere. But the problem was I had coaching sessions, I went to the gym, and look, there's no excuse for that. If I really wanted to get one in, I could have got it done early in the morning or something like that. But on top of that, I'm kind of saving my body as well. I'm feeling extremely fatigued after Friday night's match. Hence why I took the ice bath yesterday. From what I know, I don't think we play a match on Saturday, so I should have an intense week of training. Pat tomorrow, a lot of other stuff throughout the week. So I'm feeling all right with it. It's not the end of the world. Those sessions with Pat get heated and intense. It's brilliant. 
Australia. It's such a good environment to be in. And then Tuesday, I'm gonna have a double session Wednesday. I don't want to have a recovery day because this is almost a recovery day, not quite. You know, there was a fair bit of gym work that I did. It's difficult because usually we always play on a Saturday and then to put it on the Friday, it kind of throws things off, but I need to work around it. Feeling good for this week. I will update you guys as soon as I know if we're playing or not. It's like a washed out weekend. So if we had a canceled game when I wasn't here, then we should be playing. So anyway, 10 to 9, I'm signing up. Make sure you leave a like. I'm subscribed to you. Until Jen Journey, I'll see you in the rest of you. Bye. Bye.